In 1969, Neil Armstrong took one small step for man. Oh, let me do that again. That one small step was a giant F you to the small community of tiny creatures inhabiting those moon rocks. Not realizing these tiny lunar ticks were encased inside, President Richard Nixon ordered that the rocks be broken up into fragments and sent to 135 foreign heads of state around the globe as a gesture of goodwill and peace. For the past 50 years, these displaced lunar ticks have been trying to escape Earth and get back to their home, the moon. In 1986, a group of lunar ticks in the Soviet Union attempted to procure enough plutonium to send a tiny spacecraft back to the moon. Unfortunately, that attempt caused a tiny reactor problem. Another group of lunar ticks successfully stowed away on NASA's space shuttle. Those little lunar fuckers altered the shuttle's course to aim it towards the moon. In doing so, doomed it to failure. In 1996, a group of lunar ticks in England, having overheard some intel outside a children's preschool, attempted to hijack several cows, believing one of them would jump over the moon. For good measure, they obtained a cat disguise and stole a fiddle. But alas, none of the cows achieved liftoff. Unfortunately, these failed attempts triggered the infamous outbreak of mad cow disease. Over the past 50 years, the lunar ticks have made hundreds of failed attempts around the globe in their fruitless effort to get back home. Fortunately for us, many of those attempts have been documented by the lunar ticks and are just now being made available to the public for educational and comedic purposes. Like it or not, it looks like the lunar ticks are here to stay. Lunar ticks, living proof. Can't have a big brain if you got a tiny head. Mm -hmm.